Hans here with Evo Gimbals and today we are going to be talking about this cool cable cam system called the Y-Roll. We are carrying this because it is the best one that we've seen and we really really like it. It's a great way to avoid using a drone if you're in a place where you're flying over people or if you're in a place where it needs to be safe. This thing you can run it 150 feet. We also have this extension right here and this one allows you to run it 100 meters. So this this is a huge long cord. It's an upgrade from the cord that it comes with. It's got this little clip on the edge right here. So when you have this connected to the cable, you actually clip the cable into this little slot right here and you lock it in. And that way there's no way that the cable is going to come out. So even if this stops really fast or jerks and it falls off of the string, it's not going to fall into a crowd of people which is very important. We're gonna set one up. I'm gonna show you how it works. Um, it's pretty simple. You run this, the string comes through here, goes through here, goes onto this one, and it slides back and forth. That's what I like about it though, is it's so simple, it's so easy to use. On the bottom here, you've got a little ball joint so you can hook up your gimbal or whatever you're using to film with. It'll work with a phone, it'll work with a GoPro, it'll work with a DSLR or even like a bigger um, video camera. As long as they're not too heavy with a huge lens on it, you should be okay. There are some weight limitations. We're gonna go ahead and install our battery which is very simple. Just pull this little cover off the back here and it's got a little connector right there. Plug that in and then this little guy just tucks right in there like that. The cover goes right there like that. Ooh, and I actually just turned it on. For now, I'm gonna set this up and I'm gonna show you how it works. And we're back. Just like that, we've got a cable set up and we have got a GoPro on a Evo SS gimbal. We are ready to set this thing up. It's super easy. You put one wheel on one side, you put your safety clicker right here just by clicking that out and it'll automatically stay on. So now, no matter what, if these things come off, it's still gonna stay on there, which is the safety portion of that. And so we'll go ahead and put both of those on. You'll see that you kind of get a little bit of swing sometimes when it's sitting here. It'll kind of tend to do this. So if you do have a gimbal on here, it's gonna suck up any of that extra swing that you do have. Um, typically, if you run it to the end and let the cable calm down, it won't do that very much, but you do wanna have a little extra stabilization if you can. I'll show you real quick. There are lots of options though. We can put this fancy little DSLR camera that we have on here. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's my tip for the day. If any of you guys out there aren't really sure which way you're supposed to be turning it, me neither. This DSLR is not any problem for it. I think that even like the Canons, those kind of cameras, not gonna be a big issue. So you point it whichever way you want. You could swivel it so you're pointing it down if you wanted to, so we can kind of just mount it like that. Okay, so you can mount it in any different configuration that you want. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Power button's right here in the front. You'll make a little sound when it's on. I don't know if you could hear that. Maybe if I just stop talking so much. Here comes the sound. There it is. So now you know it's powered on. We've got everything set up right there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the remote on and it's gonna pair with it. And now I should be able to turn the knob and move it back and forth left and right. The remote's really cool. It feels really good in your hand. Um, it makes sense. The mode button is the power button, so that is a little bit weird because it doesn't say power any place, but if you can't figure out how to turn it on, press the mode button and that'll turn it on. Press it and hold it and that'll turn it off. So again, this is really impressive. I really like this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it into the faster mode. Well, you can see like right away, it's much faster. Uh, there it goes. Holy crap. Whoa, dude, this thing is so fast in the fast mode. I just don't wanna ruin the camera by running it into something. It's ridiculous. And then if we click it twice, then we can set it so that it goes into the time-lapse mode. So you can see right now, we actually have it in the time-lapse mode and it's moving to the right, your left, my right, very slowly. 
but this is the fastest speed that is available to make it move right now. So you can imagine in the slowest speed, you can hardly even tell it's moving at all. It's like it doesn't exist almost, but you're gonna be able to get this massively long, however long you want it to be. 100 meters, it's crazy how long you could set this up. This thing is amazing. I can't believe they figured all this stuff out. I'm very impressed. One of the other really cool things about this is when you have your string set up, sometimes it'll be so far away that you found a tree to hook it up to, but you really don't want it to run all the way down to the tree. You can set up these dead stops on the, on the remote. So if I wanted to have it stop right here, let's say that we want to move it down just a little bit. I can create a dead stop just by pushing a button there. You'll see that green light come on and then I'm going to move it down here. Let's just say there, so it's still in the shot. I'm gonna push it to this side. You'll see another green light come on right there. So now, no matter what I do, if I, if I have it full throttle and I bring it over this way, it's gonna stop right there. And if I have it full throttle this way and I bring it over, it's gonna stop right there. And the nice thing is it's gonna ease into that stop as well. It's not gonna come to a really fast jolting stop. So. You can see in the wide shot right here that no matter what I'm doing, I'm actually still have the thing full throttle, but it stopped over there. I'll go full throttle this way and it's gonna nice and easy stop right there for me. It's a really great system for 360 cameras, the 3D Max from, or the 360 Max from GoPro. The uh, Insta360 cameras work really well on there. Um, obviously the GoPros, all of that stuff, it's really amazing what you guys can do with these. You can get as creative as you want and you can be safe about it at the same time. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Hans for Evo Gimbals and this is the Y Roll. So you can see here that we have it in the time-lapse mode and it's moving very, very slowly. This is a very exciting video. This part, this part of the video is really exciting. I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee and I'll be right back.